brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Erlina Alianta drives along Chatlin Mayot A. Calvo Road on her way to and from work. This is not a dump site, but people are just dumping like it's a dump site. Some residents we talk to in the area say they're scared to speak up, fearing payback if they're labeled as snitches. Meanwhile, Alianta says she's fed up, calling on elected leaders to step up. If the government can see this and hear me out, I'd like somebody to come over, please, and look at it yourself and come and clean this trash because this is the Chamorro land trust. This is not no dump site. The dump here in Jigo, just the latest in a string of illegal dumps we've been receiving tips about, whether it's in Tumon or Dedido. Residents say enough is enough. I just want somebody to come here and just clean all this mess and make it look like it was before because uh, this is really uh, an eyesore, really bad. I call the mayors, the mayors are not doing nothing about it. I really don't know if they have enough funds to do it, but uh, I wish we can get help and get all these junk cars, junk, whatever they have here. In a recent interview with KUAM Governor Lulian Guerrero said that residents should contact their village mayors if they need help getting rid of trash, while Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio, who chairs the Island-Wide Beautification Task Force, tells KUAM that Gov Guam should bite the bullet and pay for the cost of cleaning up dump sites. Residents like Erlina, however, are tired of the trash talk. It's just to the point where I can't stand seeing it going in, going out. In April, Guam EPA estimated there are 12,000 tons of illegally dumped trash on Guam, and yet the agency has only issued 47 littering citations in the last two years. We forwarded pictures of this illegal dumping ground to Guam EPA, and agency spokesman Nick Lee says there will be an investigation. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.